Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the free WordPress Contact Form 7 DB plugin for storing form data. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to install the SMTP plugin for better email delivery. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to install the Contact Form 7 DB plugin so you can capture the information from this form and store it in the WordPress admin control panel. So if we go into the admin control panel and if we go to our plugins, we can see that we've got Contact Form 7 here. And if we go to the Contact Forms over here and we click on this form, we can see that we've got this form running, which is this form down here. Now, when someone fills out this form, I want to be able to store that information inside of the admin control panel here it will also send the data to the relevant email account but i also want to capture it in here so i can export it and maybe import it into some other software like mailchimp or some other type of application so let's go ahead and click on plugins and inside plugins i'm going to click add new plugin and i'm going to type in contact form cf db cf7 db so you type in cf 7 db and you'll see this option here contact form 7 database add-on cf db 7 yeah so this is quite a popular plugin almost half a million installations and let's go ahead and install it and let's give it a test so i'm going to activate the plugin and once you've activated it you'll see there's another option down here it says contact forms and when we click on contact forms you'll be able to see the different forms. If you've got like 10 different forms running on your website, then you'll see them all listed here. Right now it says count is zero. So let's go to the website and refresh the page and we'll fill out this form. So let's just do web developer test at test.com DCP web designers. And this is a test, right? So we'll fill out the form and we we'll submit it. And then if we go back to here and if we refresh this page, we'll see it says count one, right? Let's just do one more quick one. So we just fill it out again, web designers. And let's go to test at test.com. And we'll just put in my company name. And let's just write test two here and submit it one more time. So we've got two forms submitted. So that's two different people that went to your contact form and submitted. This information should really arrive in your inbox. So if we go to like webmail uh, and let's just refresh it. In fact, the authentication failed. Let's just go to here and uh, log into webmail again. We should see those emails in the inbox. So here you can see the customer inquiry, the ones that I just filled in, right? Just some test ones. So here you can see the two little test ones. So the email will get delivered to the inbox, which is what we want, because we want to be able to see that on our phones that we've got a new customer inquiry. If we go back to the admin and refresh it, we should see two here as well. So if we click on it, we can see the data. So we can see the company name, the message, the date, the email. And if we click on one of them, we see all of the information that was captured, including the date. If we go back to the contact forms here, down here, and click on it one more time, we have the option to export it as a CSV file, which is quite important because if you want to import that into some other application, let's say you're using some sort of CRM or you're using some sort of mailing service and you want to be able to email at these people because they've made an inquiry. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a contact form. It might be a sign up form or it might be a form to sign up for receiving new information about your products or your services that you provide, right? You can capture that data and then import it into another system, which is a nice convenient way. Now this tutorial is really applicable only to contact form seven. So if you're using a different plugin, a uh, different sort of plugin, so if we go to plugins here, we can see that there are some other ones installed here like WP Forms Lite um, or Fluent Forms, then you'd need to uh, possibly install a different plugin uh, in order to capture that data. So maybe we'll look at some other plugins in the near future and make some tutorials dedicated for them. But today we're focused on contact form seven and contact form seven DB. Okay. Let's go ahead and minimize this. That's how you install the free contact form 7 DB form storing plugin for WordPress. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.